like an hour ago and then I went back to bed. It is now 9.30, so I should get up. Whenever I like wake up and go back to sleep, it always makes my eyes so puffy. quick like 10 ish minute mostly ab workout maybe i'll do a little bit of cardio i'm not really feeling it this morning but i'm really trying to get on to my morning workouts again because i've been slacking lately <laughs> Before I make my iced coffee, gotta ice roll the face. I'm sorry if the lighting sucks right now. There's not that much I can do about it. We got cinnamon buns the other day. I don't remember the last time I even had a cinnamon bun, so I am definitely having one of these this morning. I know I'm trying to eat healthier, but everything in moderation, right? Coffee time. I just got so confused because I looked at the clock on my microwave and I was like, there's no way it's 11 o'clock. I thought it was 10. It is 10, daylight savings happening. That's what that is. Okay, I don't know what it is, but this is a brand new creamer and I opened it yesterday and it tasted not expired, but a little sus and I just checked and it doesn't expire until February next year, but like this must be from like a bad batch. I want to go to the nail salon today because this and they're very outgrown and I feel like they're gonna break off because I keep like hitting my nails on things. So I picked out a design last night which I will put right here. I feel like it's giving November and winter a little bit. I also want to do more wintry nails for November because December I always do my birthday nails because your girl is a December baby, more like a New Year's baby pretty much, December 30th. And I'm actually doing something really fun and I'm gonna try to either vlog the night or like that weekend. I'm just gonna do my makeup, get dressed, and then we're gonna go get our nails done. Makeup is done, but my hair is looking greasy and it is not hair wash day. So I'm gonna quickly get my mom to do like little French braids into like the two little like half up, half down ponytails. <laughs> It is not that warm out, so going for a walk in the cold does not sound like the nicest thing to do right now. But when I first quit my job, I was going for walks almost every day and I loved it and I haven't done that in like a month. So I'm really trying to push myself to go because I know I'll be happy that I did. So I definitely need a dress warm. I just got my leggings on, a black t-shirt, and then I'm just throwing on this little like Sherpa kind of hoodie. But this is warm and it's cozy. Let's go walk to the nail salon. The temptation to get Starbucks right now. Nails are all done. I do feel like these are kind of giving like winter vibes, you know? I don't really know what I'm doing right now. I kind of came home, had a little snack while I watched some YouTube. I might quickly stop by at my boyfriend's house. Let me check my Snapchat actually. I can't tell if this is more of a productive Sunday or relaxing Sunday. Kind of giving both. I badly need to do a load of laundry, but someone else has clothes going through right now, so I have to wait. 
I just spent some time taking like a bunch of pictures for my thumbnail because I was bored. I'm gonna watch some YouTube and I think I'm gonna do some party planning. Last night when I was also bored, I had the great idea that I thought I would host a fun party for the girls. So I think I'm just gonna write that in my notebook, make some plans. I just wanna have a fun little girls night and I wanna host it here. I wanna be that friend that hosts like the best parties. I love having parties with a theme. Me and my friend Sydney did this really cool cowboy western kind of theme party um, during this summer. I'll insert some pictures here. Got all of our streamers up. Howdy partners, more streamers. And we have a pin the mustache on the cow. That was 93 cents. We low-key went all out. It was so much fun. I want to plan out my birthday party a little bit more. I don't want to say too much because I want to make that its own video on itself. I didn't really eat today, so I just ate a huge bowl of pasta. I think I went through a little bit of a food coma. <laughs> so I've just been watching Gossip Girl. Kind of got my parties a little bit more planned out. I'm so excited. But I really want to have a nice bath, rinse off in the shower. He's very unimpressed because I made him into a little burrito. He looks so miserable. All right, I'm gonna go have a bath and I kind of want to self tan after because I was looking at some pictures of myself earlier when I had some tanner on and something about being tan just makes you way more confident. I just finished self tanning, which you can't really tell. The thing with my tanning drops is you can't tell until like the morning. Like when you do the ones that are like the mousse, you're like dark right away. You can't even see it. I feel like I explained that kind of weird, so sorry. I did put a little bit on my face and these ones are meant to go on your face so it's safe. But the first time I did them and I slept with it on my face, I looked orange the next day, even though I did like one drop. So now when I do it on my face, I like to leave it on just for a little bit and wash it off. So that's what I'm doing right now, just letting it sit and then I'm gonna wash it off and do my skincare. I'm wearing my little Smurf pajama shorts. Super cute. Gua Shine is supposed to be really good for you. I talked about wanting one for so long on my TikTok and then I finally got one a few months ago but then I've barely used it and I would like to use it more so I have no idea what I'm doing but it's supposed to be really good for sculpting your face, getting rid of fine lines, it's great for lymphatic draining and I think it helps with like blood circulation but it has a lot of benefits and it does feel really nice. You have to have a facial oil and that's part of the reason I haven't really been doing it because the only one I have is this mini one. I don't even remember where I got it from. So I need to just get myself a good oil and do this more frequently. I swear I saw this somewhere but you're supposed to use like your index finger to put cream or serum around your eyes because it was something about it being more like fragile and like it's more gentle when you do this finger. Maybe I'm wrong but I swear I saw something like that and now I always do it like this. I'm gonna use the Ordinary Multi Peptide Lash and Brow Serum because I was curling my lashes and it chopped off some of my lashes. And I had the same exact thing happen to me in the summer, which is why I got lash extensions for a few months. I'm gonna use some Vaseline for on my lips. This is my favorite thing to do. They make my lips feel so nice and smooth and I love to do it before bed. Vaseline is also good on your eyebrows and eyelashes for like growth. I'm 95% sure. I'm feeling very 
reset for the week. I feel very refreshed. Don't mind that my face looks super greasy. I was able to get some movement in today. I focused on getting some things done that I needed to. I didn't do anything crazy, but I did just enough so that I feel like I accomplished something, but I didn't like stress myself out because Sundays for me, I do like to relax a lot on my Sundays and it's like my last chill day before a busy week. So I feel like I can head into this next week now with like a fresh mindset. The last thing I need to do to finish off this Sunday reset is get a good night's sleep, which I don't get often. I'm a bad sleeper. I have a hard time falling asleep. I have a hard time sleeping in. I think my sleep schedule is slowly improving the more I've been able to manage my anxiety. So what I wanna do is I wanna go in my room. I'm gonna turn on my fireplace. I'm gonna get curled up in my bed and I'm just gonna watch my show and kind of relax my mind. I'm not gonna think about the week, things I have to do. Good night.